My first rule of journalism ethics, you can never deceive your audience. This is the O'Keefe Academy on journalism ethics. Every single thing that I have learned, I am going to teach you. My life experience, I'm gonna give it to you. We're gonna be doing a series of classes. I want everyone to know what I know and then to go do it. Journalism 101, this is Journalism 501. It is the mission of this series of classes to decentralize journalism by equipping you with knowledge. So what do you guys think? Do you run the story? Yes or no? I would say you do run the story, but before anything, you let people know that this is what he had said. Because it's true that he did say that, which means that you can hold those in power accountable. A lot of questions, and we hope the Citizen Journalism Army at OMG can answer them. The only way our OMG Army of Citizen Journalists can fail is if you don't have a sense of right and wrong in journalism. A journalist helps establish a society's conscience. And that's why we are going to teach you ethics first because it's the foundation behind everything you do. Do I publish this story or not? Do I record this person or not? The public's right to know trumps all that stuff. We're wondering if these donors are victims of what appears to be a money laundering scheme. And the New York Times said 125 years ago that journalists must operate without being afraid. This can't be here, you know that, right? I can't, I'm a journalist, what do you mean I can't be here? Whoa, you will be a target if you do this sort of journalism. So why do we do this? We do it because it's the right thing to do. To be courageous, you have to have a justice complex. It has to come from a place of passion. It was more to the story, it was more stuff that he uncovered than I would say running. That he might lose his job. And if you're focused on exposing the injustice, you're not focused on the fear and the reasons why not to do the journalism in the first place.